goal is to try to maximize our genetic potential. And um, I feel like a healthy diet and following the principles of the Weston A. Price are the closest, most effective way to have that happen in our own lives. Uh, so many of us are so lost for information. I uh, was online today and I looked up um, Weston A. Price and I was YouTubing a couple things and the first thing that came up was this guy talking about how eating liver is the craziest thing on earth and he said it's like taking a sponge and putting it in a uh, public toilet and eating the sponge and I thought that's so unscientific but this is what's popping up you know if you google diet a thousand or a hundred thousand Google searches come right up to the top and most people don't know where to start and honestly in my own life I didn't know where to start. I've gone the gamut, and this is where I've settled, is with the West Night Price. I, I have not found anything that I don't feel like is the complete truth. Everything they do is scientifically backed. Um, and when the most important thing is when we apply the principles to our patients, they get better. And so what we're gonna talk about tonight is something that I've talked about quite a few times before, but it's fat-soluble vitamins. Um, I remember hearing about fat-soluble vitamins when I was in college, you know, A, D, E, K. Um, just, and the only reference was so that we didn't consume too many of them and become toxic. What you're going to find out about tonight is how important fat-soluble vitamins are. Uh, the West Knight Price, the one thing that they say, like if you go to their website, they say, if you don't do anything else, take cod liver oil <laughs> because it has that dramatic of an effect on your health. Um, for those of you who don't know, Wesley Price was a doctor who was from Cleveland, who lived in the 20s. Uh, he was a dentist, and um, he was seeing the demise of American health even back then. You know, almost 20% um, of people were being denied access to the military because of health problems. Um, he was seeing the rate of cavities going up. Uh, obesity, of a lot of the diseases of what we call modern living. And he was a scientist, and so he decided to travel the world and see if he could figure out if anybody had this right. And um, he shows up in Austria, and he shows up in this little town, and he has to take a walking path through the mountains to get there, and he, it's like he found the fountain of youth of health. He walks into this town, and everybody is healthy, and he starts looking at their teeth, and nobody has cavities and everybody has these wide faces and um, we're beautiful and these little kids are running around in these streams in, in the cold weather and he had to have him and his wife had his coat on and they were had almost no disease and he shows up in this town where nobody has heart disease and nobody has cancer and he says what are you doing and so he decided to travel the world and he went to a ton of different um, cultures which we've gone into before and he basically made a list of principles and the one thing that he found, basically, was that these different people had very nutritionally dense foods. And so he brought their foods back to the laboratory and he looked at them and he found that these societies um, were consuming 10 times the fat-soluble vitamins that modern societies were and four times the mineral content. I often tell people when they come into my office who have disease or symptoms or are sick, Everything is stress. Um, it's just an accumulation of stress. You have enough stress in your life and something's gonna break. Um, there's three forms of stress. There's physical stress, like your neck being out, working really long hours. There's emotional stress, which we all know. And there's chemical stress. A and the interesting thing is, as I mentioned, all of these stresses are accumulative. And if you get enough stress, everything starts to shut down in your body. Um, basically breaks. Of the three stresses, by far the most powerful is chemical stress. And I always tell people this is really good news for those of us who are in, under stress that I can't change my job. None of us can change who our parents are or who we're married to, but um, we can change the chemical stress in our body. And one of the most powerful ways of doing that is making some simple Weston A. Price changes and incorporating fat-soluble vitamins into your diet um, in every, every way you can. Um, we have been, in my opinion, um, deceived into thinking that fat is bad in this country. Um, fat, some fats are bad, but 
all energy comes from the sun, and fat is just concentrated energy. Um, there's no better way to get fuel in your body than fat. Um, we studied people, and they can measure respiration. People who are burning fat for energy are much healthier, have much faster metabolisms, have much less depression than people who are consistently burning sugar for energy. Um, eating fat slows your digestion down, so you're not hungry. Uh, there's a book we have up front, Eat Fat, Lose Fat. Um, fat does not make you fat. Fat does not cause heart disease. Um, fat does not increase your cholesterol. Those are the three myths that have basically been put on us. And I was looking up earlier today the origins of the low fat um, fat in this country. Um, and there's, there's a couple people who I found when I was looking it up. Um, I'm probably going to pronounce the name wrong. Nathan Pritikin. People have heard of the Pritikin diet, correct? Yeah. Um, he lived from 1915 to 1985. And in 1957, he uh, got heart disease. And so what his approach was is he took a very intelligent approach at first. He said, OK, I'm going to start exercising. Um, I'm going to cut out sugar completely out of my diet. And he didn't realize. He said, I'm going to cut fat completely out of my diet. And he lost weight, of course. Um, his heart disease went away because he got a lot of the free radical damage out of his lifestyle. But then um, he became um, in severe pain in 1980, and five years later, he committed suicide. And so it's interesting that was the uh, way that he ended, because that is what fat does for us. It basically keeps us out of, fa out of pain, and it helps us stay happy. Um, another person was um, John Kellogg. We all know Kellogg. Um, he was a Puritan um, and a Seventh-day Adventist. And he put people on a vegetarian diet because he thought that it combated the evils of constipation and natural urges. And he preached against having sex, even in marriage. He thought it should only be used for reproduction. <laughs> and cutting, cutting fat out was a great way of taking away people's sexual urges. And so if you look at our broken freezer over here, you'll see we have a, a sticker on there, cholesterol is for lovers. Because cholesterol is the precursor to sex hormones. And it's absolutely necessary to get enough cholesterol. I, I, I just cringe when people come into my office and they're on these cholesterol medications, and they're depressed, and their hormones are bad. There's no way they're going to get better, because cholesterol, which I'll get into, is how your body repairs. So let me actually talk about the lipid hypothesis in this country. So <clears throat> in 1920 and before, there was almost no heart disease in this country. Um, most people consumed high amounts of lard and butter. Um, we ate a lot of meat. We ate a lot of fat. There was not much sugar in our society. Um, and nobody ever checked cholesterol. Nobody checked your coronary arteries. Um, and it was very rare. Less than 4% of the population had heart disease. Um, today, 40% of deaths are due to heart disease. So um, during that period from the 1920s to today, the amount of bad fats, which we call polyunsaturated fats or vegetable fats, have increased thousands of times in our society. Sugar has increased thousands of times in our society. And what these do, basically, is there's um, three different types of fats. Um, I know this may be a little too much for some of you, but there's saturated, there's monounsaturated, and there's polyunsaturated. Saturated fat is butter, lard, right? Um, uh, monounsaturated is things like olive oil. It's something that if you put it in the refrigerator, it'll turn hard. And polyunsaturated are things that are liquid, even if you put them in the refrigerator, vegetable oils. The vegetable oils are cooked and heated. Um, and they're basically, I look at them as just free radicals in a bottle. And when you consume them, you cause free radical damage in your body. And your body has to produce cholesterol to try to repair the damage. And so um, what's happened is that since we've increased sugar, and these bad fats in our society, then our body has to produce tons of cholesterol to respond to it. They look at these people who die of heart disease, they see cholesterol in their arteries, and they say, you need to avoid cholesterol, you need to avoid fat, um, and that's going to be the answer. And it's, it's just wrong. And so um, what we actually encourage people to do, I feel like this is Ann Amanda's half our life, is get off sugar, get off polyunsaturated fats, and start eating fat-soluble, dense, and saturated fats. 
And when people do this, it's amazing. Um, I just started uh, three employees um, two weeks ago on a diet because they needed help. And I, uh, my wife is working with them. And we said, absolutely no vegetable oils, no sugar. You can eat as much fat as you want. And I think they're, on average, lost 10 to 15 pounds each in two weeks just because um, their body doesn't, yeah, their body was running off sugar and, and they're eating as much fat as they want and their body loves it. And so in saturated fats, saturated fats and cholesterol are basically the carriers for fat-soluble vitamins. Um, there's a lot of confusion in this country with vitamins. So, you know, I, I, I debate with vegetarians often and they say, well, I can get my zinc and my copper and my vitamin A from uh, carrots and from greens. Um, science has shown us that you have to have fat to absorb these things. So um, if you have carrot juice and the vitamin A in there is retinol, you're going to almost get no vitamin A out of that. If you would put a little bit of butter in your uh, carrot juice, then you could actually absorb these because this is how the body um, works. So saturated fats make up 50% of all the cell membranes in our body. Um, does anyone know how cells work in the body? Um, it's pretty simple. Um, every cell in your body has what we call a phospholipid bilayer, which means two layers of fat, basically. And um, it's the protection of the outside of the cell to the inside of the cell. And um, it's absolutely essential to get nutrition in and out, and it's the uh, barrier. 50% uh, of those barriers are made of saturated fat. Your brain is made uh, of an enormous amount of cholesterol. They say that up to 80% of the energy in a child's first year is building the brain with cholesterol. And if you don't have enough, then you can't make your cells and your brain can't function properly. Um, we found that uh, saturated fats and uh, fat-soluble vitamins are really important for protecting the liver. We live in a very, very toxic world. There's no way that we can avoid all the toxins, but if you have enough fat-soluble vitamins, um, it helps protect you with those toxins because it's essential for your bile um, to drain out of your liver to have enough, especially vitamin A, available. Um, they've shown that um, it's essential for nutrient absorption. One of the things that I do in a lot of people is a mineral analysis. And oftentimes in the mineral analysis, we look at them and their calcium levels in their tissues are like, the, the chart goes from like here to here and the calcium level is like 50 here. And I'll see people's calcium levels in their tissues are like 450, so it like go up to the ceiling. So they have all this calcium stuck in their tissues. And I'm convinced, you know, oftentimes it's because their thyroid and their parathyroid won't work, but it's because they're not getting enough fat soluble A to utilize and absorb that calcium. Um, the same is with zinc and B12. You know, many people look at B12 as the nutrient that basically prevents Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is a scourge in our society nowadays. It's awful. And um, the two things that they've shown that are extremely effective, or three really, is having enough B12, which you have to get fat-soluble vitamins to absorb B12, the medium chain triglycerides, um, which are essential for brain function, and fat-soluble vitamins. Um, it's needed for protein absorption. Anytime you eat protein, you have to have enough vitamin A. This is why the Weston A. Price Foundation says don't use protein powder. Because when you eat protein, you have to access the vitamin A reserves in your liver. And if you do tons of protein, a high protein diet, um, without enough balance of fat, then you, you, you lose your vitamin A stores. Um, and then you can't absorb the protein. Um, and so as Weston A. Dr. Price went around the world, he found that Every single society he went to that was healthy, that had the straight teeth and the wide faces, was consuming fat-soluble vitamins. And if any of you have looked at the logo for the Weston A. Price Foundation, um, I didn't know what this meant for a while, and maybe we have one, but it's, it's a globe. And it's, um, it's uh, a, a wide globe, a thin globe, and then a wide globe again. And what it stands for is that the faces of traditional people were very wide. Um, and you guys can look at this. Amanda will show you. And, and what this is for is um, 
they showed that the faces of traditional people are very wide, very broad. Um, and the, the faces of many modernized people are becoming very skinny. And the goal of the West Night Price is to basically have wide faces again. <laughs> and so um, the reason why that works is because when a woman is pregnant um, and the stem cells are forming the body and they're forming the heart and they're forming the skeletal system, you have to have enough fat-soluble vitamins or it can't form right. Um, and so people will tend to get narrow faces and crowded teeth. Their pelvic uh, bones are very narrow, which is one of the reasons why so many people have to have C-sections nowadays, because they don't have a wide enough pelvic structure to fit the baby through. Um, and uh, having enough vitamin A at that, at that point is essential to have a child. It's like the biggest birthright you could do for your child. And so, West Knight Price, they're always showing pictures of babies and they're showing these beautiful West Knight Price babies and they're showing them up and they're these children with these beautiful round heads. Um, I was ins highly insulted the first time I went to a um, West Knight Price Foundation because Sally Fallon, who, who heads the um, foundation, was giving a breakfast and Allie and I were there and she looked at me and stopped and said, wow, you have a very round head. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize she was complimenting me, <laughs> um, but really she was. Um, Can I get one? <laughs> and so um, it's so important, I don't know if any of you are in childbearing years, that I feel like the most important thing that a, a woman can do when they're pregnant is to take cod liver oil every single day to, to, to get their uh, reserves of vitamin A and vitamin D back. And what I'm telling you is the exact opposite of what most of you heard. I'm saying eat saturated fat, right? Avoid grains and sugar. Um, and, and this is not at all what is happening in our society. In our schools where you know, one in three children have a, has a learning disability now, they're cutting all the, sh they're cutting all the fat out of the milk. Um, I'm convinced that many of these diseases are just a deficiency of fat in the brain. Um, <clears throat> so there's multiple, there's multiple fat soluble vitamins. We focus primarily on vitamin A, vitamin D, and then something that we call um, factor X. Have you ever heard that term? Um, Weston A. Price had found that um, in butter, high vitamin butter oil, there's something that they call factor X, and it's a catalyst to absorb and utilize um, fat soluble vitamins even better. And they're actually calling a factor X, a fat soluble vitamin in and of itself now. And so when you look um, what, what the West St. Price Foundation recommends is cod liver oil but ideally mixed with high vitamin butter oil because it's high in that factor X so that you can um, absorb and utilize your nutrients even better. So let's talk just a minute about a couple other uses of vitamin A and vitamin D in the body. One, it's an amazing antioxidant. Um, I feel like most of the thought that we have should be, is this a free radical or not? Free radical quickens aging and basically um, brings on your death much faster. Um, antioxidants block that. And so the, the more free radicals we can avoid, which are things like stress, um, uh, polyunsaturated fats, sugar, cell phones, um, um, create free radical damage and so we want to have as many things that block that as we can. Um, another th thing that they've shown is that consuming fat soluble vitamins with your food stimulates your gastric juices so that you can digest whatever you're eating better. Um, it also is uh, a wonderful builder of bone and red blood vessels. Um, it's amazing for your immune system so if you're having a kid who's sick you know, you want to get as many fat soluble vitamins as you can. Make them cod liver oil and cream smoothie. Um, I remember when my dad, when I was sick, um, he was very well-meaning and I would almost look forward to being sick, but he would go and he would go to Mally's and he would get me a shake. I wasn't feeling good, he'd bring me home a sugar shake. And it was absolutely the worst thing he could have done, but uh, um, if I have children, I'm going to force cod liver oil down their mouth <laughs> and they're not going to love me as much. Um, it's uh, really, really important for RNA production. You know, one of the things that's happening so much in this country is cancer. 
and cancer is basically cells reproducing and not just and, and they reproduce not just right and they have a little bit of of an error in their genetic code and then another one and it builds and before you know it you have a cluster of cells that haven't been able to re reproduce properly and they call that cancer. And so anything that helps RNA production which is fat soluble A and D is a wonderful um, prevention for cancer. Um, it's really important for thyroid health and I'm going to get into this again in a second. Um, it's important for your eyes. Obviously vitamin A is important for eyes. Everybody's heard that. Um, it's very important for your skin. Um, and again, I want to go back to um, trying to get these from vegetables. So when you have vitamin A from fat um, and you have vitamin A from carrots, it's not the same thing. Um, when you get it from fat, it's called a uh, carotenoid. And when you get it from um, um, carrots, it's called a retinol. And you cannot convert the vitamin A from carrots into the usable form without some fat. Um, it happens in your upper intestines and children cannot do it at all. People with thyroid issues can't do it and so it's a very very difficult conversion and so this is one of the reasons why uh, although having vegetables is important um, this is why we call them fat soluble activators because you can actually activate the nutrition and the juicing and all the salads that you eat by having fat on there and that's one of the reasons why we put fat on a salad is so that we can absorb the nutrients out of the salad. Does that make sense to everybody? Good. Uh, so next time you look at a can of soup and it says 100% of your vitamin A, you know that you're not getting 100% of your usable vitamin A from that can of soup. It is almost impossible to become toxic, in my opinion, in vitamin A and vitamin D. You can do it, but you'd have to try really, really hard by consuming cod liver oil. I've never seen it happen, personally. Um, vitamin A and vitamin D are complementary. I just heard someone talking um, before I started the seminar and they said I went to my doctor and they checked my vitamin D levels and they were low. And what I always hear is, so my doctor prescribed me a synthetic 50,000 unit vitamin D and we're missing the boat again. Um, because vitamin D, everything, this is why we only use whole food because anytime we change it or we synthesize it, we screw it up. Vitamin A and vitamin D have to be in balance. And so um, the best form of that, in our opinion, is cod liver oil. There's a couple other examples that we'll talk about, but um, you can get these uh, fat soluble vitamins. Well, let's talk about that. So cod liver oil is our favorite. Butter fat is a great one. Egg yolks, uh, fish, fish livers, uh, fish heads. Um, I was reading about, and I'm not necessarily promoting that you have to be a huge meat eater. I was reading about a woman who had um, in the West Nine Price Foundation and she was extremely healthy and all she ate was um, raw goat milk and insects. She lived in Africa. So there's multiple ways to do it. <laughs> For people who are overweight or diabetic, the absolute worst thing they can do is to follow a low-fat diet. Um, you're going to destroy your health because people who have diabetes or weight gain in this country are almost all running off sugar. And so when you cut out fat, which a lot of people do in an attempt to lose weight, your blood sugar, your, you, the, the fat is the logs in the fire. Um, you're, you're, and when you take that away, your blood sugar is going to be even more up and down and you're going to burn out your adrenals and you're going to burn out your thyroid and as soon as you stop starving yourself, you're going to put on more weight than you lost. Which is one of the reasons why Dr. and Amanda and I had developed, we did develop recently, we're having a lot of success with a weight loss program. And people are looking at us like we have three heads when we say you can eat as much fat as you want on this weight loss program. In fact, we encourage you to eat as many fat soluble vitamins as you can, in, as you can get into. And people are rapidly losing weight. Um, I also want to address the vitamin D myth. A lot of us think that we can get vitamin D from the sun. You can. But there's only one type of uh, ray that you actually get vitamin D, and it's called UVB rays. They're really high in the tropics, but up here in the north, it's only during the midday sun. And so you would have to lay out from like 11 to 1, completely naked, to hope to get enough vitamin D. Um, which is why everybody we check has low vitamin D levels. And so I think it's okay to do a synthetic vitamin D if you're extremely low but we think that you should always do it along with 
the high fat soluble vitamin um, foods like cod liver oil. So when I see someone and they come to me and I see this all the time um, with a vitamin D level of like 10 or 14 and they have no energy and they can't lose weight and they're depressed and their brain doesn't work and they have no hormones and then their doctor puts them on a synthetic or we put them on a synthetic, that's okay, but you have to do the fat soluble vitamin A and vitamin D and cholesterol and saturated fat because they all work together. It's, it's a package. And that's the mistake that we tend to make in medicine is we try to find just the active ingredient and pull it out. It's like aspirin. You know, white willow bark is this wonderful thing. Aspirin ruins your stomach because they took out all the buffers for the aspirin. I um, love one product in particular. Um, and uh, it takes a little getting used to, but I swear any day that I do this product, I have a good day. I feel like I'm steady. I don't feel like I'm too achy. I feel like my energy is good. I feel like my mood is decent. Um, and it's um, green pastures infu infused coconut oil. And it's um, coconut oil is the base. And then it has high vitamin um, butter oil in there. It has fermented cod liver oil in there. It has Factor X. It has skate liver oil in there. Uh, and a little bit of flavoring. And it's just this wonderful way to just fuel your fat system. Um, the first time I tried it, I didn't think it was great. Um, but some of them are better. Like I really like the, um, there's one called banana and carob. And we'll, uh, Mana, could you grab me one of those? Um, I'll show you how to do it. And it's great because um, a lot of times you're doing cod liver oil, you take one little pill, right? And you know, I look at some of these bottles and I see how many you have to take and I think, okay, you need to take 20 of these a day to really be at a therapeutic level. Um, and so we really like the liquid cod liver oil. Um, it's a syringe. You pull out four or five milliliters, you squirt it in the back of your throat. Um, or I really like this um, because you can do easily uh, one or two tablespoons and you're, you're actually getting up to a, a therapeutic level. And you're also providing all the nutrients in that medium chain triglyceride that I mentioned and the fat soluble vitamins. I feel like this is an anti Alzheimer's. Um, uh, nutrient for lovers. <laughs> I think I think the cod liver oil is great. So you're going to get a you're going to get a higher concentration of fat soluble A and D in the cod liver than you are with this. Um, but this is just um, yeah you're doing both that way. And so a lot of you cook with coconut oil. Um, so when you're cooking, that brings us back to one other thing. You want to always cook with saturated fats because the things that aren't saturated break down with heat. So you should only really be cooking with like butter, ghee, or coconut oil. Um, you know, if you're doing a light thing, olive oil is okay, but certainly not at high temperatures. Um, and then, um, so if you're cooking with a lot of butter and, and coconut oil, then you probably don't have to do this. But if you're not, then I would um, do something like this and then just get the cod liver oil along with it.